Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for all being here. My name is Liam Butler. I'm a research associate here at CSIC. And I'm going to talk to you today about data-centric engineering, or a new language for 21st century civil engineers. Um, so this very quick presentation is going to describe my title effectively. So very recently, the CSIC, in partnership with the Alan Turing Institute, have entered into a project on data-centric engineering. So unlike data-driven engineering, whereby we look at just the model-free approaches and just the data itself to inform our models, we combine finite element models or physical models combined with our data-driven models um, to create a data-centric model now. So civil engineers now working with data scientists, talking across the same table from each other. Um, we're both very good problem solvers, but solve problems in different ways. Civil engineers were very good at visual interpretation of our surroundings, whereas data scientists like to find patterns within our, our world. And so one of the big challenges so far has been on this project is communication and learning to speak sort of the same language. Um, so in the 2016 film, The Arrival, the main character was tasked with the challenge of interpreting these donut-like shapes from an unexpected alien visitor. Um, well, I'm not calling data scientists extraterrestrials or anything like that, but they, uh, we definitely do have to look at a common language, and that common language can be found through data, I believe. And it starts with collecting data on structures like this. This is a bridge in Stafford we've instrumented with hundreds of fiber optic sensors, and we've been collecting data um, and looking at the response of this data over the last two years of this bridge being in operation. So once we've populated a structure with all these fiber optic sensors, we really create a self-sensing structure. So we've moved from this passive mass of concrete and steel into a living, well, semi-living um, bridge that now responds to uh, external loads and its responses. Um, but of course, with self-sensing infrastructure collecting this data, we get a lot of data. So this screen itself represents just 0.1 seconds of all that data we collected of, 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 that, uh, of that bridge. And so as civil engineers, we're not necessarily trained to deal with these large quantities all the time. We have um, right now basically a data problem. And we need to come up with other clever ways besides sort of the traditional methods of data interpretation where we look at several sensors at a time and you can start seeing from this that these plots start to quickly stack up if we want to make any sense of this data. But when civil engineers and data scientists work together, um, well, some amazing things can actually start to happen, and we can look at things in different ways, and we get donuts from data. So that's a graphical representation there of the correlation between all of these 100-plus sensors, and when a train goes over the structure, we see the shaped kinds of change, sort of change before returning to this original donut-like shape. So we want to track these shapes over time and correlate that to deterioration so that in the long term now, on the horizon, um, we're going to combine a combined model that looks at all of these things um, to create what we're terming digital twins. And so this is, a, this is a model that's going to exist alongside our physical asset and we can update over time so that we have this combined data-centric model where we can manage, analyze, and interpret combining advanced BIM modeling, advanced finite element models, and this same idea of our statistical um, model parameters um, to have this one digital twin. So in the future, um, moving forward in the 21st century, we like to see the idea of civil engineers, data scientists wearing similar hats moving forward and um, being able to communicate through this new language of data-centric engineering um, and a combined idea of, of what we're we going to do with all this data. Um, so I'd like to just acknowledge all of our project partners and our funders for this, um, and I'd like to thank you all for listening today. Thank you.